It's a huge game, Merseyside Derby. Mm -hmm. Liverpool fans will be happy to see their team back in business, Jay. Yeah. Uh, I thought they were... I thought they were strong tonight. It's, it's one of the best performances I've seen Liverpool this, yeah. this season. Where Easily been, this year. Where's that performance been? Well, it's obviously there for them. It's obviously yeah. It's you. I think Liverpool fans will be will, will be watching that. With the, there have been moments this season where we've gone. There's the Liverpool, but they've got to back it up now. They've got two tough games: Champions League, got Newcastle away. That's a big game. Champions League, Real Madrid. I'm not saying that they're seasoned. Well, they could season defining. No, that's a bit too soon to say to say that. But huge games in their season. If they can go to Newcastle and get something, which mm -hmm. is a tough place to go, yeah. Then you'll then maybe Liverpool start to believe there is a top four race. Well, can they're nine Liverpool, points off the top four. It's quite that is quite a big gap for a side that hasn't consistently played well. But can Liverpool go on a run of like five games, win four, draw? Yeah, they are. They have been capable. But this season, we've not seen it, have we? We haven't. We've not. I'm not, I've not. I've not seen that performance. No, that's the best they played in a long time for me. Yeah. Liverpool. I thought but, that was excellent. And all, this it was Liverpool season, of old. This season, we haven't seen enough of Salah look like he's back to. Look, I like Nunez. He's a bit rough around the edges. He gives Liverpool their better side with him in it. Yeah. I still, I think this, the goals it feels like will come. He's a bit raw. Yeah. But I think that's part of his charm. Thought he played well. Gakpo <laughs> livened up when he got his goal. Don't know what Cody's doing, by the way, for the, for the goals. I don't know what Pickford's doing for the first goal. Oh, where's Pickford? But it's a brilliant going? breakaway from Liverpool. That's the sort of goal Liverpool used to score three years ago where they'd destroy teams. They'd just catch you on the counter attack and absolutely destroy you. In, in the, there was a goal they scored away at, at Fulham a couple of seasons ago where, 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 where Salah scored. Reminded me a little bit of that. I can't remember who played the long field part. It was a brilliant breakaway goal. Reminded me a little bit of that. But they've got to do that. They've got to do that for now at the end of the season. And they've got a chance. They've got a chance to get in top four. No question about that. Do I think they'll get there? I think it's too early. I think it's too early to say one way or the other. Because mm. we've not seen Liverpool enough this season back to back to back to back games. And that's what they're going to have to do to get themselves up that table. Nine point gap with Liverpool are flying... They can make that up, but I need to see more of that Liverpool consistency that, that you know, we saw three or four years ago when they, when they won the title. Yeah, no, I thought that was excellent tonight. Played very well. Liverpool fans, can you get back in the top 403 717 Let's go to Trevor, who's a Liverpool fan. All right, Trev? All right, mate. How are you? Trev? Yeah, yeah, good, Trev. Look, back in business tonight. Big performance from the, from the team. Where's this team Robinson. been? I, well, I agree with you, but Robinson, Fabinho... They were back tonight. They were for absolutely fantastic. And will Liverpool get top four this year? I'm going to put my marker down now and say they absolutely will. I think that walk the clock went on, the two-day break that the team had, come on, it's not a coincidence that they played like that tonight after that dreadful performance against Wolves. Do you not think it's a bit of a coincidence? They're, they're, they're going to do it. They are going to, they're going to beat Newcastle. Real Madrid are off it as well, by the way. Real Madrid aren't really on it. We can beat them as well over two legs. I think there's something good coming here. I mean, I love this about football fans, right? Based on <laughs> based on one ninety minutes, if you'd Not asked if you'd asked Trev last week against Wolves, can you get top four? <laughs> what, what, what would you have said, Trev? I'd have said no chance. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing isn't it? how we can just go from like go it. Look, oh, I've got a, I've got one of my best mates, a Liverpool fan, right? And, he, and we had a conversation. I said to him on Friday, Chelsea are going to draw. And he said, yeah, Liverpool draw. So that's where Liverpool are at right now. But credit, best performance in a, in a long time. That was the Liverpool that you felt yeah. you need to see more. And of course they're capable. They're good players. Of course they're they've good got players. some top players, of course. You know? Van Dijk's coming back. Yeah. Uh, Jota was back involved. Yeah. You know, you start looking at the team and go, oh, okay. You know, that, it's a massive a, game on Saturday night. You know, about Newcastle. If Liverpool beat Newcastle, I'll, I want Trev to phone up next Friday, next Monday and okay. we'll have that conversation yeah. again, Trev, and I'll say, do you know what? I can actually now... You know what back... we need to do? We need to clip up this conversation we'll that we've had. Back it up, yes. We and, can... we, and then next... Yeah. Newcastle win 2-0. Yeah, New... <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle are going to win 2-0. He'll be phoning up Sam with miles off miles it. Miles off it. Miles off it. <laughs> <laughs> Trev, no. top man. Top man, Trev. Trev, just quickly. Trev? Yep. What are you doing for uh, Valentine's tomorrow night? What's uh, what, What's the lucky Trev up to? Well, I'm going to buy some, you know, you know, the usual nonsense, yeah. flowers. Right, OK. Who's the lucky... Who's the lucky... Oh, roses. Yeah. And I'm a singer-songwriter, by the way. Are so you? I'm probably writing a song tomorrow. Oh, yeah. God, God, come on, what, do you, what sort of songs do you write, Trev? I write amazing songs. I'm better than Oasis. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, check me out. What? Trevor Sherman. 
Welcome back. Sing us something now, Trev. Trev, serenade us now. What with? What? You want to sing a song? Give me a song. Give me a song. Give us a love song. Uh, we'll have to come back to you. Seems seems happy enough well, with the performance. It's just yeah. the, the minor things. I thought Everton done okay. Do you know what? Out of the last two games, they probably got three points more than they thought they would. Facing Arsenal at home, top of the league, flying. Liverpool away. You know, they never seem to get anything in modern day. So I'm guessing that on reflection, two tough games, come out with three points. It's, a, it's, a, it's okay. It's not, you know, they... They're, they're, they need to be room for improvement, absolutely. But Liverpool are at it tonight. You know, that's that's the best I've seen Liverpool play in a long time. And they had five across the middle. And the boy Sims up top. Can't leave players up like that. Booting, booming long balls. They were if you, shelling if balls you, at see, him, weren't they? If you're going to do that, Pickford's got to give time for the midfield. There's got to be a trigger. So as soon as he booms that ball, Sims is up there and he's flicking it onto, to, into to the keeper. One. Yeah. You know, if, you're, if you have as a trigger, right, pass the ball, then as the ball goes back... To Pickford, yeah. Then your one of your midfielders <coughs> got to make a break and go and support and go and join. Yeah, he couldn't if, get up. They couldn't get up to him because up, it was, was it was all too quick. And even if it was a ball into his chest, there's no one around him. Yeah, you know they, they they've got to get that that part better. And he's good at that, Dyche. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Everton fans, you can have your say on tonight's performance as well. Trevor, who we just spoke to, is going to phone us up tomorrow with a, a yeah. song and a guitar. Yeah, he brilliant. said that he's going to do. But let's go Excellent. to Bobby, who's a Liverpool fan, All right, Bobby? Evening, Chuck. You all right? Yeah, all right, Bob. good, Bobby. Um, a lot better from Liverpool happy, tonight. Happy, mate. I was at the game tonight and uh, much happy, much happier. I think I, I'm just happy with a clean sheet, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it, it's been, it, honestly, from last year to this year, night and day. You know what I mean? Absolute night and day. So, happy. Better, um, but bigger challenges to come. Sonny mm. and our neighbours. And, um, you know, I, I've got a lot of mates that are Evertonians and I've said to them, listen, Chin up, you've got a lot of positives. I said, you know, chin next up. Year, you chinned them up. No, no, hang on, hang on. I said, hang on, let me finish. Uh, with Bobby, the Liverpool fan, right, Bobby? Bob. All right. No, what I was, uh, what I was going to say. <laughs> no, Bob, you know, you know, if you if you hit someone with a chin up, you know, you're going. Come on, son, chin, keep your chin up. Yeah, keep your chin up. What I, what I was going to say is, and I've said to a lot of mates that are, that are Evertonians, I said, listen, you've got a lot of positives next year. I said, you are going to have the best ground, the best ground in the championship. <laughs> you knew so, it. You, you just know, knew it. I knew what I was doing. You I just knew it. Doing. You just knew it, Bob. Absolute <laughs> liberty from Bob. I think, um, yeah, absolute liberty. Listen, bragging rights for the city and all of that, that's yeah. what it's all about. You just don't want to get beat tonight. You just do not want to get beat. We got we got our eye white at Wolves. We've got Real Madrid coming up. Hopefully, it just puts us in the right frame of mind. And I'm proud of the team, always am. And this is what I always say. This is how, when you find out if you're a decent supporter of Liverpool or whatever team it is, when it's going bad, that's when you find out who the real fans are. Mm. Because Jamie Gallagher said it, you can replace players, you cannot replace another Jurgen Klopp. There is not another Jurgen Klopp out there. So yeah, we can spend a couple of quid in the summer or whatever, we can go and get some new players, but you cannot get another Jurgen Klopp. You cannot get that. None. That's priceless. Yeah. Priceless. Bobby, agree with you on that one. Cheers, um, Bob. Thanks for phoning chin in. Up. Chin up. It's it's chin up. Patronising. Oh, it's horrible. Hey, lads, chin up. You'll be okay. Yeah. Pick your chins up, boys. That's you? terrible. Oh, horrible. And you knew it was coming from Bobby. You can tell, didn't you? The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.